To implement the visitor pattern, first we need to introduce the operation or the visitor interface. So let's add a new interface. I prefer to call it operation because it better aligns with the domain of this application, but we could also call it visitor. So here's the operational interface. Here we need to overload the apply method. So we're going to have one apply method that takes a heading node object and another that takes an anchor node object. Anchor. Now, once again, we should use this pattern if our object structure is fairly stable, but we want to frequently support new operations. In other words, if tomorrow we introduce a new type of HTML node, we have to come back and modify this interface as well as all the classes that implement it. So here's our operational interface. Now let's create a concrete operation. So we add a new class called highlight operation. This will implement the operational interface. So here we're going to have two apply methods. All the logic for the highlight operation is going to be in a single place. This is the logic for highlighting a heading node. So we simply print highlight heading. And here's the logic for highlighting an anchor. So all the logic is in a single place. Now, let's go to our HTML node interface. We don't want to have specific methods like highlight and plain text. We want to have an extensibility point. So we should replace this too with a method called execute that takes an operation object. Now we should change our concrete HTML node classes. So here's the anchor node class. Let's implement the new method. In this execute method, we take an operation object. We don't know what type of operation it is because we're talking to an interface. So we call operation dot. Look, here we have two apply methods. So when we call apply this, this will cause the apply method that takes an anchor node object to be called. So that is the second apply method that we have declared here. Now, back to our apply node class. We no longer need the highlight method, so delete. So now we have an anchor node that is open to new types of operations. If tomorrow we want to support a new type of operation, we don't have to come back and modify this class because it has an extensibility point. Let's make the same change in the heading node class. So first we implement the execute method. Here we call operation that apply this. Because we are inside the heading node class, this will cause the apply method that takes a heading node object to be called. Okay. Now let's delete this code. Next, we should go to our HTML document class. We want to get rid of this highlight method, so let's delete it. Instead, we want to introduce an extensibility point. So we add an execute method that takes an operation object. Now here we're going to iterate over all the nodes that we have in this document, and for each node, we're going to execute this operation. So for var node in nodes, each node now has an execute method that takes an operation object. So once again, our HTML document class has an extensibility point. We can pass new types of operations to it without modifying it. This is the beauty of the visitor pattern. Now let's test the new implementation. So we go to our main method. Here we have a break and change because we no longer have the highlight method, but it doesn't matter. We're going to call document.execute, and here we pass new highlight operation. Let's run the program. And we have the same output as before. Let's say tomorrow we want to introduce a new operation to extract the plain text behind an HTML document. That is super easy. So we add a new class called plain text operation. This class should implement the operation interface. Now here we can print text dash heading. And here we can print text dash anchor. So all the logic for extracting plain text from different types of HTML nodes will be in a single place. Now we go back to our main class. 
and replace this highlight operation with plain text operation. As you can see, I didn't have to change any of these classes. I didn't have to change the HTML document, the heading node, and the anchor node classes. I simply added a new class to support a new operation. This is the open close principle in action. Now let's run our program. So here's the output of our plain text operation. 